Hey there guys, this is Vibro here from Tech Week team. And so today in this video, we'll be doing a video related to the different versions and types of major drivers and kernel versions that are available for Phoenix OS. And we'll be discussing which is best for you. So without any further delays, let's get into the video. So before starting the video, make sure you're using Phoenix OS Spectre Edition or Abstergo OS. Only in these versions of Phoenix OS, you can upgrade or downgrade the version of Mesa drivers without breaking a sweat. Do watch the full video guys or else you will not understand a few stuffs and may face some serious issues. Pura video dekhiye bhai log agar kuch problem ho agar kahin pe aap face kar rahe ho kuch problem description mein jao wahan pe aap mujhe pooch sakte ho. So let's take a look at the different versions of Mesa drivers that we have available for us to use. So basically we have four versions of Mesa drivers that is Mesa 17 which is the default one and then we have Mesa 18.1, 18.3 and the latest one that is the 18.3.6. Now you might think which version of Mesa driver is like best for you. As you can see my developer friend Abstergo has already mentioned about the various versions of Mesa to be used based on the generations of CPUs that you have inside your laptop or your computer. As it says for generation first to fifth generation processors, it's better if you use the stock Mesa 17.1.0 driver because that's the most stable and it's like the best uh, version of Mesa that is available for you. And for the CPUs that are more than fifth, that is from sixth to eighth gen processors, you can go ahead and try out the newer versions of Mesa that is at Mesa 18.1, 18.3 or the one that I'm using right now that is the 18.3.6. The version or the type of CPU that I have is the 8th gen Intel Core i5 processor. So that's the main reason why I'm using 18.3. You can see my name is written here, Fibro Tech Week, that's me. While the newer versions of Mesa drivers have better rendering of games and applications, but it needs more processing power from your processor. So if you are using a newer version of Mesa on your slow or low end PC, then it will just make your gameplay worse. So just do not do that. So as you have come to know about the version of Mesa you should be using, now let's talk about the installation process. First of all, go to the link in the description to this website and download the required version of Mesa driver. Make sure you download the version written FX because they're the only versions that'll work for your system. Now after downloading the required files, copy and paste the zip file over into the documents folder as I'm showing. But remember, Make sure the document folder is empty and no other applications or files are inside the documents folder. And also make sure you are on Phoenix OS Spectre Edition or Abstergo OS. Only in these versions of Phoenix OS, this process is applicable. Now, after you have pasted the Mesa zip file on documents folder, you will need to press Alter plus F1 button to open up the terminal. For this video purpose, I'm using a third party terminal app, but for you, make sure you're using the Phoenix OS default terminal app or the terminal system, which I said already press Alter plus F function one button together. And after that, a black screen will appear and then you will need to type in a command. And this command is different for both Spectre Edition and Abstergo OS. For Spectre OS or Spectre Edition, you'll need to type in SOS and for Abstergo OS, you'll be needing to type Abstergo and press the Enter key. And after you press the Enter key, you'll see a number of options, but you'll need to select number seven, which says upgrade or downgrade Mesa drivers. After selecting that option, you'll be prompted to confirm. Just press any key, uh, not can press any key, just press the Enter key and then some processes will be done. And after that, your Phoenix OS will reboot and then you'll have successfully upgraded your Mesa drivers. In this way, you can easily upgrade or downgrade the version of Mesa that you want over into your Phoenix OS. 
Don't worry, the download links of those maze of files is there in the description. Go there and check it out. So now let's talk about the versions of kernel that we have for our Phoenix OS. In total, we have several versions of kernel. There are like 4.12, 4.13.5, 4.19, 4.19.7, .19 and so on. Now you might think, again, which version is best for you? Like console version you use for your computer, ke liye, right? So again, my friends, Abstergo has it all cleared up in his Discord servers, which will be also there in the description. Go ahead and follow him out there. He has also a YouTube channel where he does make installation video and review videos like me. So you can go ahead, show him some love, just subscribe to his channel. He's a great friend of mine. He's an awesome guy. Trust me. And after that, um, yeah, go ahead and just subscribe him up. And he just did say that first generation processor two third gen processors 4.12 or 4.13 will be the best. All right, the four four gen processors, you can go for 4.13.5 to 4.19.7 and so on. You can just take a look at it. And for me, I have the eight gen processor and that's why I'm using the 4.19 version, which is the latest one and just working amazing now for installation purpose download the desired version of kernel and paste it the zip folder to the documents folder like the same as that you did for mesa drivers don't worry the download links will be there in the description for the kernel so you don't need to worry about that and yeah make sure you don't have any other files in the documents folder and for upgrading or downgrading the version of kernel, you'll need to follow the same step as before in the terminal. Open up the terminal by pressing Alter plus Function 1 button. But for this video, I am using another terminal app, like I said, and type in the desired com command. For me, type I am typing SOS as I'm using uh, Spectre Edition. And for you, if you're using Abstergo OS, then type in Abstergo and then this menus will appear and after that select number eight and confirm it by pressing enter wait for some time and then boom you're done your phoenix will then reboot and just reboot your phoenix os and you will be in the newer version of your kernel and you might face some problems like various problems like your wi-fi might not be working and stuff like that this is a really really complicated thing you know like not all version of kernels um is supported like all the versions of processors that are available but it does support but it might be sometimes that your processor might or the Wi-Fi card that you have over into your system might not be supported with the kernel version and you might face some issues. So before upgrading, I would strongly suggest you to go ahead to the developer that is Abstergo TV, the developer. And also I'll be giving you the link of Spectre Editions Discord server as well. So go ahead and just talk to the developers by yourself before proceeding. But the process is pretty simple like i said just follow these things up and you'll be just done without any issues so in this way you can just successfully upgrade or downgrade your kernel version or your mesa drivers trust me upgrading the mesa driver to 18.3.6 for me has greatly improved the performance of pubg mobile and if you are a pubg mobile like me uh, like a player like me then and you have a faster processor like me like an 8 gen or 7 gen you should definitely try out the Mesa 18.3.6 that is the latest one it's just pretty amazing in this way you can easily upgrade or downgrade the versions you know like for this only works in Spectre Edition and Abstergo OS so really shout out to both of the developers for working great and uh yeah that's pretty much it guys if this really helped for you do subscribe do like this video okay it will really help me out and that's pretty much it guys if you got any queries you know how to reach me down in the comment box below or follow me out in instagram my instagram um username will be splashing up in the screen so follow me out there you can we can just have a conversation out there as well or you can also follow me on discord my discord 
name or the discord username will be also splashing up in the screen so you can follow me out there as well so that's pretty much it guys this is vbro have a great day god bless you all and thank you